responsibility to protect or obligated to blank. All right. <clears throat> so responsibility to protect or obligated to protect civilians who suffer from the governing state's abuse. All right. So this here, this program, responsibility to protect, also known as R2P, it's still in heavy debate. Okay, there are several powerful nations who are in favor, and there are a few nations who are not in favor, right? And so I'm going to give you pros and cons of why they're in favor and why they're not in favor. Uh, first thing, all right, uh, let's give you a pro, all right? So why would you think uh, another country gets stripped from its sovereignty? Well, because they fail to protect the civilians, right? Superpowers, we have this concept, or they, this, you know, superpowers concept is that the humans are born with basic human rights. You know, civilians are, are born with basic human rights, you know? Um, life, liberty, things like that, okay? So, what happens when a government abuses those basic human rights? Well... For instance, you had uh, in the 1990s a big genocide that happened in Africa where uh, there were two tribes within the country of Rwanda. One had political power, the other one didn't. And the one with political power dispatched armies to kill uh, the opposing tribe, which was uh, the one without uh, political power, right? So basically, the government began to kill all the citizens, right? So while Rwandians were having their war, right? or their, their, <clears throat> their genocide going on, right? The rest of the world felt that it was uh, the superpower's obligation, United States, Russia, British, France, to go in and interfere because the government failed to protect its citizens, maintain sovereignty there. So um, now we, we go into why countries are not in favor of R2P, okay, this R2P program, this responsibility to protect program. Well, you are stripping, uh, you are interfering into another state's governing manner, okay? So, uh, Washington, United States, we know what's best for the United States. China knows what's best for China, okay? Uh, one good example is that United States would like to bump up the prices would love china to bump up its prices okay it's good for their economy it helps the entire world especially that china is the world's factory okay uh number one producer in the world okay now china says no okay says no says no completely right uh and their main reason is because they want to keep their exportation rates high, right? They want to keep exporting, keep exporting, keep exporting, you know? So, at this point, right, the R2P program is unbeneficial, okay? Because Washington or, or the United States know what's best for Washington, what's, what's best for the United States, okay? China knows what's best for China, all right? And this is the main reason why R2P program uh, is, is still in heavy debate, because it kind of strips away sovereignty.